hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are playing 4-0 uh, War for Throne. This is 1900 plus, so I expect the quality of this game to be uh, a higher standard, shall we say. Uh, I have this tension with green. Green's being proactive about uh, defending this undefended pawn. Uh, makes me think that even though this is 1900 plus, uh, green is going to be a tough opponent for us to keep an eye on. All right, so this is a zero increment game, as I mentioned. Um, let's try... Yeah, so this could be trouble for us. Um, let's try this. Blue might try to get away with this, but uh, then again, red has some tension there. Okay. Uh, red bringing more attention with this move, attacking a king instead of just a pawn. So now we might see this from blue, in which case, yeah, we don't want anything to do with that. We're going to trade that off green, letting us get away with it here. Uh, if I was green, I would keep this pressure as long as possible. That's, uh, that's a benefit for green's position for sure. Okay. So now a lot of tension here between ourselves and green. I'm going to trade. Interesting that green didn't take with the promotion. Hmm. Um, I think this is my next move. Just defend that king as much as possible. Maybe we'll see this from green. And I think this is safe. This pawn is, of course, defended. Um, I can now promote, or do I just step over? I want a king here. I'm not sure how to get there. Um, let's try this. I like having this defense here. Um, again, this is a zero increment game, so I have to keep an eye on the clock as much as I'm keeping an eye on the score and the position, the material, etc. Um, let's take twice here and then promote. And promote again. I think promoting again is is probably the best way to do it here. Just want to get uh, get these two files. I think I've talked about this. Maybe it was a stream. I can't remember. But getting these two files uh, developed should be a priority in the early game, if not your sole priority. Now I've I've been lucky that I'm not dealing with blue and green at the same time here. Um, so we've kind of had an easy go of it. Uh, so I'm pretty content with this. Green backing off is good. Let's me know that green probably doesn't want too much trouble. And I can start looking a little bit at blue. So this is kind of dynamic for us. Uh, we have flexibility that we can step up and put some pressure on blue. Um, but we can also, okay, I'll do that. Um, should red start engaging over on this side, which he might do soon, um, we can also uh, pressure green a little bit. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I just want to get these two promoted. Although... Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on what Red's doing. Oof, Red's putting two kings in the center when there's no one else in there yet. Kind of dubious. Uh, so our opposite might not be as much help as, as we're hoping for here. Although everyone's played well so far. I, I mean, I haven't been uh, paying attention to all all three opponents, but uh, I know green and blue haven't uh, necessarily missed any opportunities yet. Okay. I'm not sure why green decided that now was the, the right time to do that. Maybe, uh, what do we do here? Maybe we'll step back. 
Green is definitely paying attention to the clock. Seems to be making moves very quickly. Okay. Um, let's step back here. And I want to get in that last promotion. So red's red's doing well with development. Green's development. Uh, this makes me nervous. Maybe that's why green is, has been so eager to trade off here because he wants to get in this development. Good. Okay. Uh, so that was an opportunity for red. Red could have taken here and I could have put pressure on green there. Um, and we would have gotten a combo. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I was thinking about this, but I could face some pressure from green. Ordinarily, I'd have red to rely upon that uh, that we wouldn't see that. But again, I'm not sure how much we can rely upon red in this game. Um, now, we can start to make some of our own opportunities here. So yeah, taking twice here is, is good. That that would work well for us, especially since blue's pulling out. We have an opportunity. Red and I have an opportunity to take twice there. Uh, missed opportunity from red. Um, and we're just kind of making some waiting moves here. Yeah, here we go. Take it, red. Take it. There we go. All right. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention to blue. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll recapture here now. Um, take there. It's all right. For us, it's a king for a king trade. And actually, green's losing one after all. OK. Um, maybe let's keep some pressure on green. Red's looking for this. Okay, good move by red. I don't know if I would have seen that. Uh, I, I probably would have just gone here, okay. So now blue's putting pressure on, on green in the center, more out of desperation probably. Um, okay, this is interesting. This setup in the center, two blue versus two, two red. Blue has a lot of material. Um, we're at 42 points. What I want to do is just count points versus remaining material. So I have 42 with six kings left. Green has 42 with one, two, three, four, probably five, six left. So green and I at this stage in the game are pretty much equal. Um, if we count kings as being worth three points, so to get blue up to 42, he would need to trade one, two, and he'd still be shy by one point. No, one, two, three, and he'd be leading us by three kings. And then he'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So green has material and points. If you count a king as three points, he's up over green and I by uh, four, four points, I think. If I did that correctly. OK. So again, at this point, I think um, we, can, we can try to suppress green a little bit. Uh, green's going to have a hard time promoting these if red keeps up that pressure and if we're keeping up pressure on this side. So more or less making waiting moves. Um, and being ready to trade some with green. Now I know that's, that's a lot to ask when you only have four kings remaining, but uh, I'm feeling good about our setup here. Um, no, no pressure from blue. Uh, blue has run out of space to pressure red. We can continue to B 
be an annoyance to green. Yeah. Um, yeah, waiting moves for us. I like having the center axis, but again, it's with the material I have left, I don't feel ready to, uh, to make any moves in the center. Um, I don't know why red is giving blue this counterplay. He had a, an excellent position. Um, I'm, I'm going here so that should green uh, take red, I can put pressure on green here. Yeah, again, I don't think it was too smart for red to allow blue this, this access. I mean, red at, at one stage had these three kings here. Blue only had three. three. Uh, I don't know where where we got where we got. When we got where we got. Green's making waiting moves. Maybe we should... Uh, okay, i got to do this. Although that's, it doesn't, doesn't matter now. Yeah, there's no sense in me taking that. This attack, if red had the opportunity, red should have taken blue because I would have captured green on, green on the next move, but uh, red didn't have that opportunity. It was a it was a check, so he, he needed to respond to that. Um, so we are still tied with green in terms of points, although we have potential in that we have two more kings than green does. Um, I don't want to trade with green. Um, let's let's go to the center now. Is green gonna checkmate red? I don't think I don't think he will. Yeah, red's not gonna let himself be checkmated. Uh, I was thinking about this for a second. Blue could probably do that. Um, I want to prevent blue from attacking red here. Interesting game so far. Um, keeping up with red, he's up six points. Uh, but again, we have three more kings. So again, King is worth three points at its full value, so um, we're doing better than red here. This game's actually looking pretty good for us. Also, the clock is something to consider. Ooh, I think I should have gone here. I want to stop blue from getting any more kings into the center, and that's the way to do it. So it looks like... Uh, Red's getting out of the center, giving the center to blue. If we can get enough material into the center, we can uh, we can take it from blue. Red will probably be checkmated here, um, but with only one king, it's it's hard to know. If red keeps blue's royal king there, I mean it's going to be a dance. Uh, blue wants to get his royal king out so that he can checkmate red. Um, I don't know what green's doing, but like I said, if, if blue can get his royal king out, he could give checkmate to red. It's just a question of if he will. I don't know. Blue's, uh, has 10 seconds left. Uh, so what are we going to do? We're going to try this, bring in our last king into the center. This game's looking really good for us. And now we get this and the game. Red's going to get uh, third place. All right. Will blue stop us here? Blue's... Uh, right now, blue is in second place, so 
Blue doesn't need to stop us. Oh! <laughs> that was a silly move. I could have taken King of the Hill. <laughs> Alright. Let's try that, and now we get King of the Hill. Alright. <laughs> silly move not to get King of the Hill. And hey, look at this. We're back uh, close to 2400. Alright, so that's going to do it for today. Uh, good game to my three opponents. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the, in the next video.